If all the magazines that were recovered from the suspect were completely full, he would have had a maximum of 250 rounds uh, in his possession at the time. 250 bullets in the hands of the man who showed up on that Dayton street with body armor, a mask, and clearly a will to kill. A sign of how bad things could have been. Other numbers prove how bad it was. Police said today Connor Betts fired at least 41 shots into the crowd. Officers fired at least 65 back. It took 30 seconds to bring him down. In that time, nine dead, 14 others hit, more injured in the chaos. I just remember seeing bodies and sheets, you know, just riddled all over the sidewalk. It is fundamentally problematic. They have that level of weaponry in a civilian environment. As to the question of what motivated the shooter, still no answers today. Nor to whether he intended to kill his sister, one of the victims. It seems to just defy believability he would shoot his own sister. But it's also hard to believe that he didn't recognize that was his sister. Former classmates say he once created a hit list in school. Today, police cautioned against trying to infer too much from something that happened 10 years ago. Meanwhile, at the site of the shooting today, anguish on display as people try to make sense of what seems so senseless.